Following the U.S. Non-Farm Payrolls NFP, report, the Euro-USD experienced a substantial decline during Friday's New York session. The report indicated that U.S. employers increased their payrolls by 272,000, surpassing the anticipated figure of 185,000 and the altered previous figure of 165,000. Nevertheless, the unemployment rate rose to 4%, surpassing the previous and forecasted rate of 3.9%. The unexpectedly high payroll numbers allayed concerns regarding decreased labor demand, exacerbated by recent indicators that indicated a loosening job market. The labor market showed some softening, as evidenced by the fact that April's JOLTS job openings and May's ADP employment change were weaker than anticipated. The initial jobless claims for the week ending May 31 exceeded estimates. In addition, market expectations for the Federal Reserve to commence interest rate reductions at the September meeting have been substantially diminished due to this elevated inflation concern. As a result of the NFP report, the probability of rate decreases in September decreased from 68% to 54.4%, as indicated by the CME FedWatch tool. In the daily chart, the Euro USD price trades under extreme bearish pressure during the post-NFP timeframe, creating a potential bearish trend reversal. The 14-day relative strength index, RSI, which turned bearish below the 50 line, suggested a bearish factor. Moreover, the 20-day EMA is above the current price and is working as resistance. In that case, investors might experience a downside continuation, with the main aim of testing the 1.07 key support level.